Guess what? I'm not dead. That's right, I have blessed you all with my presence yet again. Today I will be talking about my series and my channel and pretty much where I want to go with those, I guess. First things first. I am sure you're all at least somewhat familiar with magical crystals. Right. I know I'm not wrong. Yeah, they got new designs now because, you know, gotcha life too. I'd like to share them with you. I'm not going to explain the designs as much because that would waste so much time. Oh yeah, and I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing the names wrong. Anyways, here's everybody's favorite grape protagonist. Mitsuki, or as she was previously called, Millie. Anyways, let's move on. Here we have the bean, Sayua, who was previously called Sammy. What is up with these names? Anyways, let's move on to our blueberry girl. Here's our precious blueberry girl, otherwise known as Remu. Oh yeah, and I won't be going over all the embarrassing names. Then we've got our precious Hanami. And then we've got our disgusting nerd Itsumi. And then we've got Ryu, a gamer girl who touches grass. Then we've got our precious bean Nishida. And then we've got our singer girl Sira. And then we have our yucky bully, Fuyumi. Randomly enough, we have two new characters, Haruki and Toki Kurono, who I will not be giving much information of. These two will appear later in the series, so that should be fun. Then we have Cotton, who's... doing the Smurf catwalk? Oh yeah, I almost forgot about Millie. Uh, she looks really adorable in God's Life 2, in my opinion. I'm really proud of her design. Anyways, here's a series you guys aren't familiar with. Lord Strike Pretty Girl. Um, it's inspired by Genshin Impact, and yeah. The first character we've got is Vector. I mean, Victor. And he pretty much transforms into Cure Wind. Not Cure Wing, Cure Wind. Though I did take some inspiration from Cure Wing. And then we've got his bestie Xander, who turns into Cure Meteor. And then we've got his totally worst enemy, Erica, who transforms into Cure Lightning. Then we've got the bean, Natalie, who transforms into Cure Forest. Then there's Francisca, who transforms into Cure Ocean. And of course, we can't forget our beloved Pudding. I mean, Purin. Now, this is a series you may be familiar with if you know who Arctic Fox 101 is. This series is called Sweet Berry Precure, and basically Arctic gave it to me because she was un unmotivated to work on it anymore and work on other projects like Wild Style. Anyway, here are the character designs, at least for the main heroes. There's Ichigo Shotokeki, Chloe Framboise, Yuzuki Remanedo, Miyutachi, Aoi Burberry, uh, Ume, Plum Hinako, and Sakura Mayu. Those are all the designs I've done so far. I haven't done the villains or the pixies yet, or the cure forms, so... Anyways, here's another series I want to talk about. Team Domino. Now, you're probably thinking, Ghoulie, isn't that the one where you made an ending and never actually revealed the opening? Yeah, about that. I'm planning on redoing the opening and 
there's something else. I struggle with finding songs for my openings and endings. When you think about it, there's millions of amazing openings and endings. And I just can't choose. Anyways, enough about that. I'm going to share the designs with y'all. Because I'm a nice person and that's what nice people do. Right here we have our beloved... Go away, go hunt someone else's dreams! Then we've got her sister, Iyuki. I mean, Iyuki. This is Akira. And she has more brain cells than you. Then we have Sayuri. Not Sayori, Sayuri. Then we have our arsonist, Sanyu. And then we have Bimu. She's kind of edgy. And then we have... Wait, wait, wait. Is that Chica? Why is he a boy? I just had to, okay? I like him this way. He looks adorable. Here we have the sad boy, Jomei. Here we have Akira's brother, and wait, is that a ginger? <laughs> Anyways, his name is Akihiro. Then we have Daisy, who I can promise you is totally innocent. I only did a few of the villains, um, so that's about it for the character designs. Anyway, I would like to start posting again once the static poses arrive, cause custom poses, in my opinion, they're way too hard to work with. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video, I guess. Bye!